folks welcome to people's of channel in my last video i showed you how to generate people code trace in a snap let me show you what i mean as simple as tapping on this button today i will introduce you to a amazing tool that can save you a lot of time when analyzing trace file the tool is called trace magic this magic tool is delivered by PeopleSoft. It has been around from a very long, long time. I believe since 2012. If you are already using it, that's great. You can skim this video just to make sure you are aware of all the features I discussed in this video. All right, let's jump in and sneak into some of the key features. My number one feature, trace comparison. Comparing two trace files has never been so easy. It trims all the distractions from the original trace file like app server log information, timing, SQL cursor codes and whatnot. Isn't it easy on your eyes? I like it. My next pick, Trace Magic shows all errors and exceptions under one umbrella as soon as you open Trace Magic. Isn't it cool? And lastly, Trace Magic made easy for us to track performance issues by condensing the data into cute little graphs are shown. Now I will start from scratch and demonstrate those features to you. Like everything else guys, we will start by installing the software. Let me head to Oracle support website to download the tool. Once you log in, you can search for trace magic. Mostly it will show up as the first result. Click on the hyperlink. If you scroll little down, you can see it is certified only till Windows 8, but it works perfectly fine on my Windows 10 machine. If you scroll furthermore, you can see the recommended trace settings for the trace magic tool. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see the installation file. Download it, install it. Pretty straightforward process. For this demonstration, I have intentionally planted a bug in people code. Then, I took a trace before and after. I will begin with traditional way of comparing two trace files using my ultra modern editor which is ultra compare and later we will compare the trace using trace magic. This is how it looks guys when I compare two trace files using ultra compare. It sort of makes me dizzy. Now let's compare using trace magic. Once you open trace magic you can see the compare icon click on it. Select the two trace files and click OK. Click OK to the warnings and then navigate to execution order tab. Here you can skim through execution flow. By the way, it highlights both people code events and SQL execution flow. And don't mistake that red color as the difference between two trace files. Clearly, trace on the left hand side executed the troubled SQL and right did not. This feature is specifically useful when you are comparing trace between before and after fix or after applying patches if your system got messed up you can take a trace and compare. Now let's move on to the next feature and find that bug that has been hiding so long. This is an error I encountered on an online page. That error message didn't give me a thing so I took a trace and then opened it using trace magic. This is how it shows. I believe this is definitely helpful. Now let's get into the last feature I liked about this tool, analyzing performance issues. Have you ever encountered that spinning wheel of death? I mean the wheel that keeps spinning when clicking on the nav bar? You must have. I took a trace for few seconds to analyze it using trace magic. Once you open the file in trace magic, you don't see any errors on the home page, which is expected. But if you see the graphs, most of the time is consumed by people code rather than SQL. You can make that out by looking the y-axis, which is time. Now I know that culprit is people code. So I navigated to people code methods tab and sorted the file based on the total time consumed. Here you can easily find top three people code functions that took most of the time. That's one of the ways to analyze performance issues. I sure have some complaints about this tool. This performance analyzer has some performance issues. It takes a lot of time to load the file. And yes, it occasionally hangs up on me, especially when the file size is more than 30 MB. 
folks that's my take on trace magic i would encourage you to try it out and post your feedback in the comments below you are listening to siva koya i'm people tools as well as financial implementation specialist please check out my other videos don't forget to subscribe my channel if you like it thank you all for watching